Chrissy Teigen has always found joy in the kitchen, and after a difficult year, she turned to her family's recipes for comfort. She's out with her most personal mm. cookbook yet. It's called Cravings All Together. Chrissy, we're so happy you're here. I'm so happy to be here. I never get to be with you guys, so I'm I excited. Know. And it's a beautiful, beautiful it really cookbook. Is. And I think the most beautiful thing I have to say was when I flipped the page and I just saw for Jack. For Jack. For yeah, Jack. And that, that was so touching and beautiful and it was important <laughs> yeah, to dedicate it to Yeah, he was all throughout the book. I mean, he's still such a big part of our family life. You know, we're ties, so we very much embrace death and we kind of are very vocal about it with our with our kids and it's just, it, I, yeah, I just, there was no way I, I could get around not thinking about him the whole process. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I can name personally mm -hmm. many women that mm -hmm. you helped Thank by you. sharing your story. I wonder what was it like to do that so publicly yeah. and and how about talking to the kids about it? Oh, it was so weird um, to, I think the, uh, you know, when I first shared the photos, a lot of people were very thrown off by them. You know, it was such a personal, uh, weird thing. And it was very weird for me to ask John to take the photos or have like this kind of documentation of this process. But I thought, I really genuinely in that moment thought that it would be helpful to so many women out there. And talking to the kids about it is really magical because my mother obviously lives with us and she brings in that like old school Thai sensibility of they're always around us. They're in the air, they're in the mm. sky. Oh. You know, we have his, we have his ashes next to my bed and my kids, like we, we joke about it, but like when we go on vacation and things, they're like, don't forget Jack and mm -hmm. like we'll pack him <laughs> up and we bring him and I'm like one day we'll release him and you know, uh, but but for right now, it really helped explain death to them. Like, you know, it was it was easy to, it was kind of confusing to tell them like what had happened in the hospital, but once they saw the ashes, they realized, oh, this happened, you know, um, he's not coming back. Like it's, you know, it was very, it, it became very real to them and they draw him in school and things, so oh, there's, yeah. There's, there are so many profound things that are, that are happening in your life right yeah. now. The thing that you revealed earlier today was that you are 100 days sober. Yeah. And that's a big deal. It that is. is a big deal. Why did you make that decision, Chrissy? To I hadn't gone, aside from being pregnant, I hadn't gone more than a day or two ever in uh, since I started drinking at 20 or so. So I, uh, I just really never had that period of time of like clear thought. You know, even, yeah. even when I was, and if I wasn't drinking, it was because I was hungover or something. Yeah. So it was just like I, I, the whole detox out of my system of it and realizing you get this like this this high from from having energy and being able to play with your kids yeah. and roll on the floor with them. And I mean, there's just, I, you know, my best friends, my closest friends, my family, everybody's noticed a difference. And there's really no, I still am like, I hate working in absolutes. So I'm like, am yeah. I ever going to have a glass of wine again? Or, mm -hmm. um, and all I know is it like just did not serve. It just doesn't serve me anymore. Like I'm not fun on it. I don't dance. Yeah. I don't yeah. like, I'm not a better person. Um, I, I, yeah, it's just not for me. I appreciate, like I told your producers, I was like, make sure they know that like if they want to drink, they want to do anything. They, <laughs> they, can, can, do what they, they can do what they was want. There something that was there a reason? Was there like a moment where you said this? Yeah, was there something that made Well, you I had stop? been, I've been struggling with it, honestly, for, for the past couple of years was when I knew it was kind of an issue. Uh, I, I, I mean, I just like even like doing interviews and things yeah. like I, I would think I needed a glass of wine or yeah. um, and then it just started to get embarrassing like at award shows and things and everyone make memes it and thinks it's funny and cute right that that like, you fall you fell asleep or something yeah. at the Oscars or but I mean it's it's really it became embarrassing and yeah. I am obviously with someone like John who is it's hard to be around somebody that's so respected and so mm -hmm. beloved and so loved and you I just was like, I can't be the messy one. I just can't. Mm. This is embarrassing. And yeah. I don't want to uh, waking up every, in the morning and being like, oh, uh, like, what did I say? Yeah. Like, that's so embarrassing. Yeah. And then it was just not worth it. That feeling is not worth yeah. it. Not to mention the headaches and everything. But that feeling of embarrassment is you're, just you're such. By the way, you're such an honest yes. person. I just want to say like you're just oh. saying oh. it. So many people because <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of women are yeah. super curious. Yeah, well, with, Quit Like a Woman helped yes. me a lot. That, that book was really important for me. You learn about like the patriarchy and how and really how uh, we're so drawn as mothers to alcohol and how it yeah. normalized it is for mothers to day drink and um, uh, day drinking for yeah. me was like a very oh that's honestly only <laughs> that was the only drinking yeah, for me yeah. I didn't even call it day drinking that was just like that's how I did it and um, yeah and we joke about like kikiing with our friends and going to brunch and getting wasted yeah. and like it's just yeah it's not good you know this year has been uh, very difficult for yeah. you and I wonder what it feels like to be here mm -hmm. today mm -hmm. and to share your story. Honestly, your it feels so good to just like even be back 
and seeing you and being out mm. and being allowed to t come back and tell my story and 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 to be able to share this book with everybody but to yeah it's obviously so like it's been like heartbreaking this past mm -hmm. year so to be out again and back again it just feels really good and i feel really clear and i feel very happy and I mean, it's, we I can just, see like, it we fun. really can <laughs> really? Well, how about this why don't we take a little <laughs> yeah, break we have to talk we about the book because we want to talk about the book book it's chock full of great recipes we're going to discuss yeah. it likely another bestseller it's called cravings it's probably selling off the shelf right now <laughs> i know we'll be back with Rain chrissy good. in just a second <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.